friends welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will learn about this data type called error info so if you see the description in the microsoft learn you will find that provides a structure for grouping information about an error right so like in case you want uh, in case a system generates any error or you are building any custom process where uh, you want to uh, give certain errors on certain conditions to the users so if rather than you use a standard error keyword if you use this error info data type you can group multiple information about that error and pass it to the application insight which users can see which the partner can see via telemetry and uh, get to know more detail about it okay so error info data type has uh, so many methods like create uh, this is our overload uh, method you can see that without parameter and with parameters as well and uh, then the certain methods like add action add navigation call stack collectible custom dimensions custom dimensions is very important from the telemetry perspective because in case you want to give certain uh, custom information about an error which you want to pass to the uh, telemetry which you can do easily via custom dimensions method right so today in this video we will learn about uh, how to use this error info data type we will learn the use case of this data type and how it is different from the standard error okay so uh, i have already written up the code here uh, okay and i have already deployed this so first of all i'll show you the output and then we will uh, see the code okay so let's go back to the business central and this is my page which does not have any field but it has certain actions like the standard error error info test 1 error info test 2 so standard error is uh, generally uh, a normal uh, error keyword which we have so when i click this normal error will print when i click this one it will uh, guide us to the one of the use case of error info data type and this second one is the second use case of the error info data type so let's click on the standard error button first so just like this when you click on the standard error execution stops so this is only thing coming up why because if you see this page and this first section standard error button i have just added two lines first of all error which means execution stops and second is the message code is still running why i have written the second message uh, second line of code here after the error just to show you that in case you are using the standard error uh, function then it will display the error message and ends the execution of the AL code like no matter how much code is written further that error function but it will not run okay execution will stop and you will not get anything further and that's why when I click on this button first error is coming up and then nothing so my second message is not uh, showing up in the web client so this is the use case of error method which we all know right so now let's learn the second method which is basically the error info data type so what happen is that if i click on this you will see this so now although it's an error but it has certain more visibility certain more information and also it has some action buttons through which you can solve that error so for example this box now have the title which is hang on and then the message of the error which is this customer is not in the list or it's a just a random message i've given up if you are really building a process then you have to pass obviously the uh, useful message description here so what i'm trying to do here is that i'm trying to create one customer and if it is not there 
then it is showing up me error that the customer is not in the list but i have this button up which is the create and second is exit third one is okay which will do nothing it just like the standard button that okay okay so when you get an error you press on okay and that's it it will not do anything whereas when you apart from this i have two more buttons showing up here which is create and exit okay so these buttons the the use case of these buttons is that the error is coming and now if you want to solve that error you can create an button here which user can click and then your code will run and it will solve that error so for example right now the error is coming this customer is not in the list which means uh, i want to uh, when this action button is actually trying to create a customer so if i click on the create button it will create that customer and the process will finish up if i click on exit that means process finished and there is nothing needs to be done okay so let me show you how i have created this and so let's go back to the vs code and see this code so first of all on the action button i have created one variable called error info object okay so this is of data type error info so as i showed you that there is a data type called error info then a usual customer record variable and then a boolean variable so what i am doing here is i i am trying to get the customer of 80000 okay so in case the customer is there then nothing will come up but in case the error is uh, the customer is not there then obviously error will come right because i am using the get condition so error should come so what i am trying to do here is that if the customer 80000 is not there then we have to start using our error info object so it has certain parameters like what is the error type of my error info object it will be of client maybe if you don't want to use client you have some option called internal but you are building a process where you want your user to see that error so you can pass it as a client then the verbosity of the error is that whether it's a usual normal error it's a warning it's a critical error or whatever it is so depending on that you can pass that information but uh, from the visual perspective it does not change anything okay so you just make it as an error only then you can pass the title of the message title of the error okay which we are seeing here uh, in the in the prompt that hang on so it is basically the title of the error then the message that this customer is not in the list so whatever message you want to pass in your error you have to pass it via error info object dot message then the the best use case is that we can add some action button so one action button is create second action button is exit so this error info object only have this method called add action okay so i have used this add action method twice to create two action buttons one is the action button create second one is exit so this add action method generally takes three parameters first in first is of course the caption of the action button second one is the code unit id and third one is the method name so this code unit id and the method name is related to the code which you want to run against that action button you have to write that code separately in a separate code unit okay so whatever uh, action should happen whatever operation should happen when you click on the create button you should write that code in a separate code unit so what i have done here is i have created a separate code unit and you can see here that i have created two procedure one is for the create button and second one is for the exit button so what uh, the create button will do is that create customer it will create that customer for me and the second button which is exit it will do nothing but it will print a message that process is finished nothing needs to be done but the pr uh, thing is when you create a code unit you have to pass that code unit id which is in our case error info function is the name of that 
code unit so i have passed that second parameter like this now the third parameter is the method name so method name is that which method of this code unit should run on the click of this button so as i showed you that i have created one two procedures there one is a create customer and second one is exit so i pass this thing <coughs> but there is a condition here that whenever you create a procedure in that code unit you have to pass the parameter of error info data type if you don't pass this this procedure will not run and it will give the error when you pass this method name in the add action method okay so the condition is you can define the name of those methods only and only when the parameter of that procedure should be of error info data type right so in this way i have created two action buttons and then because it's an error okay so because it's an error so now you can use the standard error keyword and pass that error info object here <coughs> and then i have mentioned here just a normal message but since uh, as soon as the error comes this will not execute okay and that's why if you see here if i exit my process finish button uh, message will comes up and if i click on create so it will create the customer and the message is coming customer created successfully right so that is the best case best use case to use the error info data type where you are not only passing the error providing the error to the user but also giving them the option to solve that error at their end only okay now let's see the third use case the third use case is if i click on this now i am getting this message called hello and then this prompt multiple errors occur during the operation the first of which is customer is not available all errors can be found under detailed information so what this means is multiple errors that means not a single error but multiple errors are coming whereas i have, uh, we have seen that if we use the standard error keyword it will print only one error at a time right if any one error will come it will stop the execution and it will not go further but here it is getting multiple errors and if you click on the copy details and if i show you the details you can see here that the errors are first one is the customer is not available second one is the vendor is not available right and now let's see how we can collect multiple errors and show it together in one go without stopping the execution on the first error only so the second use case of this is that in this action button i have created one function called collectible okay and if you go to this procedure collectible procedure first of all you can see this attribute that i have added one attribute called error behavior error behavior collect this attribute is very important in case you want to keep the execution continue running in case you encounter one error so if you want to store if you want to collect multiple errors and want to show those multiple errors in one go only then that process is called collectible errors where your al execution will not stop if you receive some errors so to to continue your execution you have to create a procedure and on that procedure you have to use this attribute called error behavior error behavior collect okay now let's see the 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 variables so the variables are simple i have created two objects like of error info data type one is error info object and error info object one and then usual customer record variable vendor record variable and two booleans now 
I am trying to fetch some customer and in case the customer is not there I am as usual just the case which we use here we are using the same thing where we are creating an error info object where the customer is not available this is my error okay and then the collectible is equal to true it is very important because you are expecting or you want to collect multiple errors in the objects and that's why collectible should be true and the error behavior attribute should be there okay the message of the error i have already provided here customer is not available using the create method and then the usual uh, methods like error type should be client verbosity should be error then uh, in, in case you want to add some more information because this information can be passed to the telemetry okay so you can pass the control name page number or if i show you record id field number so multiple information you can pass through okay so it totally depends on you that how much more information you like to gather and pass it to the telemetry but that i will cover in a separate video but here the case is now for the customer i have provided enough information to my error info object and then i am passing that object to the usual error keyword as we have seen in this case first use case of the error info object that as soon as this error uh, function will run my message did not print up here last message was not showing up because execution will stop here but in this case execution will not stop why because my procedure is collect procedure and uh, the error info object is also collectible is equal to true so that means the error comes up and now system will store that error somewhere and execution will continue further okay then now after this line number 78 line number 79 and line number 80 will run and then it will check for vendor the same code is written but the error caption is different of course this time vendor is not available and then uh, the same thing and i have passed here the second object in the error keyword so that's why when i click on that action button you are seeing that i am getting two errors customer is not available vendor is not available and on the top of that despite the error method is running error function is running which is collecting all my errors together and showing me up on the user web client but after that also this message hello is coming up right if i if i show you again so this message is also coming up which means execution is still continued okay so that is the use case of the second use case of the error info data type where you can continue your execution and collect your errors further that you just can print uh, you can you you can show all those errors together to the customer and of course the best use case is that you are not only providing the error but you are also giving user this option to correct that error on its own so i think that's the that's a that's a few use cases of the error info data type which i wanted to share in this video if you like it i request you to please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and that's it for the today's video thank you so much for watching